Hi everyone, Sneemaster here. CIG just released a new variant of the Argo MPUV, the 1T or tractor variant. This ship is designed for loading and unloading cargo containers from larger ships using tractor beams. The MPUV ships are all snub ships without quantum drives. They can land in the hangar bays of larger ships. The MPUV 1T is 10.5 meters long, 9 meters wide, and 5 meters high. The 1T is designed for only one crew, the pilot. The cockpit has two doors, one on each side. There is decent visibility for the pilot. Not amazing, but good enough for peripheral view. There are component access points behind the pilot seat outside the cockpit, as well as a fuel port on the starboard side. For defense, the MPUV tractor has one size one shield, industrial class C. The Argo variants have very little hull strength and no armor, so they can be a bit delicate. There are no weapons on the MPUV series, so you can't defend yourself or attack anyone with these ships. The MPUV series also do not have quantum drives, so they are limited to SCM speed. The MPUV 1T has an SCM speed of 115 meters a second, which seems a bit slower than the other MPUV variants for some reason. But considering it can carry 16 SCU, that might be more cargo weight than the other variants carry anyway, so it might be okay. You can boost your speed up a little faster than SCM with afterburners, but without a quantum drive, you cannot activate proper nav mode, so you can't get to the theoretical max speed of 899 meters a second. You can can get to orbit, but can't really fly to other moons or planets realistically unless you want to spend like a month flying. The MPUV also has VTOL engines built into the landing gear legs. This will help take off from areas with heavy gravity, especially if they are carrying heavy cargo. The 1T has cargo plating underneath the hull for up to 16 SCU of cargo, either in one big box or multiple smaller boxes. There is a fixed tractor beam in front that the pilot can use to pick up items in front of the ship using the tractor mode. This is by default clicking the middle mouse button a few times until you see the tractor HUD. This tractor beam does not gimbal. There is also a rear remote turret with another tractor beam that the pilot can use in remote view by pressing a button on the upper dashboard. This turret can move around and is very flexible for loading and unloading cargo. You can even pick up cargo loaded onto the ship and move it around as well as using it to load other ships. In the future, you will be able to load the other variant modules on the ship, such as the internal cargo box for the Argo MPUV-1C or the passenger container of the 1P. There is even going to be a search and rescue variant in the future too. At least, that's what it sounds like. There is pilot gear storage of 710k micro SU, which you can access from the outside of the cockpit on the port side. Theoretically, it should be able to carry up to 2 SCO of stowage, which is a lot, but the game only showed me 710k space when I opened the inventory on the ship. So maybe that's just a bug, or maybe the documentation is wrong. The MPUV tractor goes for $35 war bond or $40 in store credit. There is a sale right now with lifetime insurance for the war bond purchase, while the store credit version is 120 months insurance. Concierge get that sale plus a free concierge paint with a war bond version. You can also buy a three pack of the ships with $100 war bond with LTI or $110 store credit with that same 120 months insurance. The Argo MPUV is normally the usual Argo orange color, but you can buy other paints for it now. There is the yellow sunlight paint, the gray storm gray paint, and for concierge only, there is the red and gray firebrand paint. The Argo MPUV 1T is optimized for loading cargo onto large ships, either in orbit or on planets and moons. Being able to fly or hover is great for a cargo loading ship, since it can find the best spot to maneuver cargo containers. This makes it great for large ships that need cargo loading such as the Hull C, the Carrick, or the 890 Jump, or future large ships. The ship will be even better once the cargo elevators make it in the game for the future 3.23.x patch, since you can load your cargo ships in your own hangar or at outposts where they may not have quick auto loading. Ships like the Hull C will also require assistance from cargo loaders since they can't land at outposts with cargo, so players can hire themselves out to load other players' ships and do ground-to-space cargo transports. The limitation of 16 SCU could be an issue with really large ships that normally hold 32 SCU containers though, but two 16 SCU containers may work in those situations hopefully. The lack of quantum drive and weapons are the main drawbacks. To get to other places, you will need to stow on board larger ships with hangars such as the Carrick 890 Jump or the future Polaris or Idris. The MPUV series can also fit in the Crusader Hercules ships, but sadly does not fit in the Caterpillar or other cargo ships currently. It might fit in the RSI Galaxy though. We'll have to see. This also prevents the MPUV from being independent cargo ships, so you can only go short range by yourself. Since these are snub ships though, you can currently spawn them from the Platinum Bay locations on outposts, so it's not too much of a limitation right now. In the future that might change though. 
You also can't use the MPUV tractor for combat as there are no weapons unless you use the tractor beams to swing cargo containers at enemies, but that's pretty tricky. The single shield and weak hull won't hold up against weapons well either, so try to stay out of combat. You could use the ship for carrying passengers in the future by either loading the passenger module from the MPUV-1P or getting an empty 16SU container to put people in once CIG implements physically opening containers. This would make it useful for troop transports or as a shuttle for passengers, assuming it's not a dangerous situation. The MPUV-1T would also be great for salvagers and pirates. You can easily pick up debris like containers, weapons, and ship components with the tractor beams on the ship, and it's small enough to get into small spaces or between asteroids. You might also be able to pick up small vehicles with the tractor beams too. Aside from that, the MPUV tractor is fun to fly, as long as you don't intend to go long distances. And the tractor beams are very useful, especially if you own big ships or are in an org that have big ships. It'll be even more useful once the modular sections are put in by CIG. Also, don't forget to check out those new paints. They look really great on the MPUV series. Alright, so that's it for the new Argo MPUV 1T review. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You can use my referral code if you decide to jump into Star Citizen and you'll get 5,000 extra in-game credits. Here's a big thank you to all my current patrons. Please check out my Patreon membership to help me make more videos. All patrons and members will have their names listed at the end of my videos and get access to my Discord channel. Patrons and members also have first pick on the next item I will cover, so feel free to sign up and let me know what you'd like to see next. Okay, catch you all next time.